goodness with face, Pat, and Tiz. Um, this is pretty much the face episode. And face last episode said this was his favorite segment. And to tell you the truth, being that we started on Thursday, I didn't think we all have that much for this segment, but the fuckery gods have given it. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, so you know it's time for the good and the fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I swear I thought I thought I was gonna have I'm gonna have to like just give the good of fuckery a, a d- vacation for this week, but man, the next day, the next day after Thursday when we record, car rammed into the Capitol and 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 four or two I was what was it like two officers shot. Or whatever, and it was on the what was it? It was on the second of April. Yo, what? The, yeah, <laughs> yo, DC yeah. is becoming the worst part, and it's yo. not even in like no urban areas. It's in the actual. <laughs> it's the place they actually make laws. Capital Hill is becoming yeah. lawless. I'm I'm at work. <laughs> uh, somebody come on my line and tell me, man, what you think about what's going on at the Capitol? It was like something happened again. Like man, man somebody about to be more dangerous than being a rapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but to tell you the truth, now that you said that, it should be. <laughs> it, it, sh- it should be like you make love. I, uh, I make music. I shouldn't be getting shot over music. You you make laws. I can see how that can you know oh. upset some people. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. But um, I don't know why I need to say allegedly, but I did. I just went along with it because you're my homeboy. So, uh, <laughs> so the shock, though, the shock was it wasn't your normal capital uh, suspect. Uh, it was a 25-year-old black man by the name of Noah Green from Indiana. And I'm like, why? Matter of fact, everybody's like, why? CNN is like, why? <laughs> <laughs> the police are like, why? Damn, They're still man. investigating. He, he come on, bro. He rammed into yeah, people, that. jumped out the car with a knife at an armed Capitol policeman. And that was the end of that. Yeah. yeah. No, one, never, no one ever told him the age old lesson. He never he run a gun I don't know, man. It's like, <laughs> All right, fuck you guys. You gave me a little too much, man. Like I uh, need some, I need some kind of good to balance this off, or whatever. Uh, he should have watched uh, the other episode about the black lady getting locked up and knocking on the door. What he thought they were gonna do is uh, same thing. Same thing. I want to point out though. All the people that asked the question, if it was a black person. Would he have made it? Well, there's your answer. This <laughs> there's your answer right there. There now in living color. Now, mind you, most people will say, well, it was because security was so high at that time. Well, actually, before that, the security had went down. Um, some there were still armed guards, but it was probably just not that many. And yeah, there's your answer. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it Where at that. Buddy. Man, America. Mm. But I said, "Come on, give me some good. Ooh. Give me some good." Ooh, I ain't getting nothing. I ain't getting nothing good from the fuckery gods yet. They just kept going. It just kept <laughs> going. It just kept going. Um, but I no, I take that back. I got one good thing. All um, all of the cops. Well, so far, all of the cops that's in the George Floyd trial with Derek, I still didn't learn how to say his name. Chauvin. Chauvin. Fuck that nigga. I mean, (laughs) anyway. (laughs) All right, right, Nick. Derek, fuck him. him. 
fuck him. Derek, fuck him. That's what I'm going to call him. Anyway, um, they all testified against him. It seemed like everybody is testifying against him. The doctor that was there, they, he straight up was like, well, he was there before I got there. There was no point of me basically being there and stuff. So that's that's one good. That's where they should. Mm-hmm. That, that was one good. I mean, they they knew if they did that, they would be under fire. But, you know, it's America, man. I don't know. I man. won't believe none until that final verdict actually comes down. That's how I feel. That's that's how I feel. Mm, um, final sentencing and all that. Um, I I think with now with this fuckery, I feel like sometimes when I see the youth do stupid shit, I just like to look look at all the stupid shit I was doing when I was young mm-hmm. to try to balance out so I can have a non bias about it, but. Um, Quando Rondo had a virtual concert, oh, which was the boy. safe thing to do. Was it was the safe thing to do? Yeah. Um, now I will say that ma- majority of the rappers that I listened to back in the day were some of the most vicious people. When I was when, a young when, man, when I was rapping, uh, when they were rapping, pretty much they were some of the vicious people I ever heard or whatever. But if somebody died. Like, you know, like, if somebody died, they have, like, yo, I don't wish no, no, I don't wish that on no man. You know what I'm saying? At least. Or whatever. But mm-hmm. they they don't got no rules in this age, man. Quando no, Wonders sir. It is, is thugging out here. Yep. He, he dissing King Von at his virtual concert, saying he'll piss on the man's uh, grave and everything. Or whatever. But I wow. will say this. The good about it is Fans were basically saying, all right, so why you say that? Why don't you put in the rhyme when he beat your ass <laughs> the few times before he passed? Why you do that? So mm. Mm. it's not like people are just they going with it. This. These kids need to stop this shit. It's, yeah, he's it's not he's yeah, he's seen to be going the Takashi route. And mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't see that going well. All right. So um, from one disturb you to the next. Um, I don't even want to report this because this shit is so nasty. This is so oh, nasty, shit. and I'm gonna get into some it. More, with, some more, some you know. more busting it over for a real Satan. Oh um, man, yeah, pretty much. Um, all pedophiles should get shot. Anyway, um, I mean that. Bad. Oh, where are we going here? Bad baby, or however you say it. B H yeah, B H A D. Yeah, yeah. March 26th. Bob Bobby. And, yeah, Bob <laughs> Bobby. How you ever you say Bobby, it? Bobby, that, Bobby, 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 Bobby. I probably call it bad Bobby, baby because you're white. Bobby, 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 Bobby. If you say Bob Bobby like that, it sounds like you're Jamaican. So I don't know. But Bob Bobby. She turned uh 18 March 26th okay. and to announce that she's in the barely legal range or whatever. Mm-hmm. She released her OnlyFans and in six hours it made a million dollars and she priced it at $23.99. And I asked she you... She got a lot of little kids that like her. Like that's her Yeah. Shit. But how many of them that just got $23.99? Just... Also a good point. Um... You know what I'm saying? Like how, how many... I mean... Yeah, like... Yeah, that is a lot of some of y'all out there kind of nasty, bro. I don't, I don't know that she was Going, thirteen yeah. like five years ago. Like, have y'all just Nigga, been tell watching? Tell no you, you just said she was eighteen. I thought she was still like fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, she like come on now, come on. And I know she she seems to be one uh, of those uh, dudes speculation on little kids, man. Yeah, that's just trifling. This is trifling. You were sitting I mean, there waiting, like, oh, as soon as she turns 18. Oh, like, oh, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not even going to give a leeway to the ones that just like, I didn't know that she was 18 when they she she was known for being ratchet at 13 on Dr. Phil. And Dr. I thought Phil. That was just like two years ago. And you can Google that. Mm hmm. 
Google everything else. So yeah, man, that's just nasty. Wow. Y'all nasty. Y'all just nasty as hell. I mean, hey, you only fans your thing. Go ahead. Pick your only man, fans. Man, it's grown folk, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely on, some grown folk. It's a plethora of grown folk just popping that for, you know. <laughs> oh, come on, man. man for less than $23.99. <laughs> Yeah, Terrible, man. Mm. Put that twenty three ninety nine to something else, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could you could have got a plethora of, of other OnlyFans <laughs> to less than that. Could have got an OnlyFans <laughs> package. Take that twenty three ninety nine and invest it into a stock, something that can have residual that part, effect that even, instead of some computer booty. Computer, computer booty. <laughs> computer booty. Computer, computer ass. ass. We're on the same page. That's why we're friends. <laughs> That's why we're friends. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, this is the only good part of the good and fuckery, babe. Let's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, the rest of this shit. It's just one of the like, weeks, man. It's one of the yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's one of them. But, you know, the rest of it is all gossipy. Little Uzi Vert is getting checked by. Um, Young Miami's boy. Which one does he mess with? Uh, I believe Lurk. JT. I believe JT. And then who the other one mess with? Carisha. This guy. Carisha. This guy named Southside. Yeah, he messed with the other one. Oh, okay. I can't keep up. I'm asking. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Lil Uzi Vert. He um, what? he is with JT, I believe. I and the other, this. and the Southside guy is with who? Uh, Young Miami. Okay, that's what I'm okay. Mm. Matter of fact, just in just in case, because I don't be well, I'm not into the shit. <laughs> if it's about to fade, I don't think uh Louisa Vert wanted was outside on the fade too. Yeah, I kind of looked at dude. Uh, um they need to just go to squash it and just let it go. I mean they mm. they dating two best friends, like so yeah, yeah that that's too it much. Might as well and that's, go ahead, be good, be at least cordial. At this point. Mm, too much. Oh, oh, y'all! Oh, you can shoot the fair one without shooting and just go about your magic that too. narrowly little way. But I don't think that this generation believe Ooh, in that. They got the the diamonds <clears throat> on his head though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he he don't look like he play. I don't know. Stone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like Thanos. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh Should shit! They, oh man. So I said, you should aim for the head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about this dude, Southside. Mm -hmm. now, let me put that out there. I don't know nothing about him. Uh, I don't know, but he don't look like he don't look like he just gonna just let you talk shit about his woman. Like mm -hmm. from nope. what I'm saying, nope. Oh, nope. whatever. Nope. Um, Chet Hanks said he got stabbed by his girl. Who? I don't even care. Chet Who Hanks. Is that? Chet Tom Hanks, Hanks is Tom Hanks' Tom. son, and for some okay. reason, okay. Okay. for some reason, this guy wants to be black so bad. He got, he said a couple of weeks back on Twitter, it looks like it's going to be a white boy summer. Like, sir, sir, do you know that America that? was? <laughs> it's always you know, a white boy summer. Yeah, you do you know that America was uh, became a country in 1776. Do you know how many summers it has been in this in America? I, okay, I don't, all of, all of those include. Oh, Do you know how right. many eighties beach movies and sixties seventies beach movies and and just white summer movies? This American Pie, American Pie Two. Do you? We have a whole film history of these types of. All right, mm -hmm. so we're going to we're going to just leave Chet Hank, Hanks alone because he he was named after cereal and I um, don't um, <laughs> that's what it looked like. His name looked like cereal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plain, <isn't laughs> <I pro> it? <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. I probably have the spelling wrong, but um, mayonnaise. Yeah, and to end the good and the fuckery, I want to just say positivity and positive vibes and get well soon to one of my favorite rappers of all time, oh, which is DMX. Oh. DMX. 
the love yeah, that sure. DMX Boy. is getting is just I I yo know, I felt like X one of them that. legends, man. He one of the ones. They had a Virgil um at the hospital or whatever, like playing all his music and everything, and they were showing it around. I was a like, yeah, see, like a um like a, a vigil. Vigil. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Virgil is this is billion dollar man's butler. <laughs> That is it. <laughs> See, that's why you did, Tiz, to let me know what Virgil? you saw. Vir- you know, they I had a Virgil up there, so they had a big black nigga. Yeah, I no. Big- <laughs> they had static shock. They had Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> static shock came through the game. Damn, Hell no, bro. That's you what's up. They had a Virgil at the hospital. I smoked the black before I came. It's my scoop. But, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Goodwill... Uh, Get well soon, DMX, man. Amen to that. Amen to that. All jokes. Yeah. Just put this out there, man. DMX put, like, brought a lot of people together. You seen his old, like, concerts and stuff like that? Oh, mm-hmm. the, all those mm-hmm. people in that crowd and everything. Like, Damn yo, mm-hmm. like, oh, man. That, at one time, he was, like, my favorite rapper. He came out with It's Dark as Hell is Hot. Mm-hmm. And then the mm-hmm. same year, Slipping. And I don't know any rapper that done that, like, up until this flesh age. Of my flesh, you... blood of my blood, boy. Mm-hmm. Boy, I had all, we had all them jumps back in the day. That was my class. My albums was on, boy. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, you got From to get Riders. up. You got to get up, uh, DMX, man. That, that would hurt. That would definitely yeah. hurt. And if you get a chance, people... Uh, watch that uh, Rough Riders documentary. Oh yeah, I've been watching that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that it's been good, man. I I was I watched a segment about Swiss Beats or whatever, because I all like you saw the transition. It went from like that dark Dame Grease and PK feel, and then all of a sudden it was that upbeat mm-hmm. like Swiss Beats feel, and then. Like, I always thought Swiss Beats... I, I didn't realize that Swiss Beats was pretty much our age when, when he came out, pretty, pretty much. And he was just getting... Lear- he was learning the game right then and there or whatever. They said they didn't really fuck with his beats. They said Rough Rider Anthem. DMX wasn't even really fucking with that beat. You know what right. I'm saying? 15 minutes. And that's one of his, like, Biggest songs, pretty much, but man, it was it, it was good so far, man. Yeah, catch that. catch that. It's good. It's good stuff. But yeah, that was my good at fuckery. Surprisingly, <laughs> so it's surprise. Like the the fuckery guys always come through. It seems like oh, sad yeah. to say. <laughs> they always will. They always will. Mm.